There's no hope you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Hey guys, welcome back once again to Niagara Fire Corals. Today we're going to be kicking off another new build. Uh, we're going to start into the new frag system that I'm going to be putting together. And we're going to be building the stand today uh, with a couple little tweaks we're going to throw in there. But anyways, stick around. You don't want to miss this one. Go, go. Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to no man, I still go. go. Alright, so here we go. I'm just gonna take you guys in, show you where we're gonna be building the new stand for the new setup. We're gonna build it right off of the side of my 150. You can see here I've already removed the couch and that that used to sit here. And uh the stand we'll be building will be seven feet long and it's gonna house two tanks eventually but uh, we're going to be concentrating on one for this build you can see here I've already got some two by fours I painted black prior to starting the videos just to keep everything the same and I got a bunch of PVC piping to get ready for the plumbing so this is the area and this is where we're going to be building the new setup number one tool in your arsenal guys should be your level you want to make sure that everything you build is perfectly level, both lengthwise and widthwise. And I'm just checking things here to make sure that I get things spot on for this stand. It's probably the most important thing that you can do. I like building my stands right in place whenever possible because, you know, you can build a stand as level as you want. But as soon as you move it, put it somewhere else, it's not going to be level any longer and you're going to have to get into shimming it. So if you build it in place, it should be level when you're ready to go. All right, guys, you can see here I'm just getting the basic skeleton of the stand started. And, um, you know, I'm not going to make you guys watch every step of the way, but... Uh, I'll take you take you along. We'll fast forward here for a little bit and I'll, you know, let you guys see it when we have a little more of this built and uh, we'll get things leveled up and we'll carry on with this build. Always using the level, guys. It's so important when building a stand. You'll see me use this level over and over and over again while I'm doing this. Guys, so just give you a quick look here what we've done. We got the upper and lower rails on. And the very end what end piece there. And I've already made sure that that's dead level. But again, this is just the start. Now you can see I've got the back on. Some cross members. We've got a little bit of a stand starting to starting to be constructed here so you can see here I put a 2x4 on the back that's got my pieces held in level position and now what I do is I sandwich another one in between the two so it is directly under the 2x4 that's across the top that's going to carry the weight notice the hammer guys that is old school right there. You don't get you don't get any better than that. This piece here, you want these pieces nice and tight. If you've got a gap in between, then um, you know you have the potential for saggage to happen. So we get them nice and tight right off the bat before we screw everything down, and then you don't have to worry about anything moving. It's a three inch screws and nothing's going to go anywhere. And there you can see that my father-in-law just showed up. His name's Bob. So for the sake of this video, we'll call him Bob the Builder. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. 
has decided to come down and lend me a hand, which is greatly appreciated. He's just marking out where I'm going to put the uh, cross braces that go across from the front to the back rail. For me, uh, we put them at 16 inch centers. So here's my father-in-law being a big help. As you can see, lots going on in front of him. But uh, we'll move along. All right, guys. So we're starting to get all the cross braces in across the top. These are on 16 inch on centers. And then uh, I will top this with three quarter inch plywood. You'll see a little later. Uh, plenty strong enough for the size tank that I'm I'm going to be putting on here. It's only a low boy, and an, it'll there will be another tank as well. But uh, weight is not going to be a, a concern. It's um, it's not a large volume of water where I'm going to be concerned about weight uh, whatsoever. The stand is uh, going to be more than adequate for what's going to be on top of it. Just double checking. Want to make sure. Drop my drill. I did leave enough room for me to get behind the tank, but uh, just enough. So it is a bit of a tight squeeze back there, but uh, I made it work. Just marking my centers for the back side. Get these screwed in and we'll get moving along. It's starting to come together. All right, guys, you can see there, I'm starting to put in uh, some more bracing underneath. All the cross braces are, are installed across the top. And again, all the braces that go from top to bottom, you'll see that uh, I'm just leveling them here. That's on the back side of those two by fours from top to bottom. And then again, I will put another one between the two two by fours as well to hold the load. Um, and I'll make sure that they are a tight fit as well. So there's no risk again of sagging. These are also all going to be installed in this fashion. So everything is flush so I can mount my doors on this uh, stand afterwards. My father-in-law did a lot of uh, cutting for me while I was doing this build, which was a big help for me, saved me a lot of time running up and down the stairs, uh, cutting pieces of wood for this. So uh, it cut the time down substantially for me. I just got to, uh, to stay down where I was and continue putting this stand together as, uh, as uh, my father-in-law took care of cutting everything for me, which was uh, a, a big help and I really appreciate it. I'm just making sure on the center here on this portion, uh, this is going to be directly underneath of the low boy. And I want to make sure that, you know, my two doors that I'm going to put underneath of it are going to be uh, same size. And I'll have a nice center point for them. So I want to make sure I take extra care here to make sure that that piece is, is in properly and in the right spot. If you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below. It really goes a long way to help me and help this channel grow. And uh, I really appreciate it, guys. I'm just explaining to my father-in-law here exactly what my plans are for this stand and why I'm doing what I'm doing. That last section there that he's standing right in front of, I am not going to put a brace on that section from top to bottom. I'm going to leave that section open the way it is uh, for a few reasons down the road I may want to put a sump in under here make my life a lot easier I'm going to use underneath of this stand for a lot of storage for say my show frag tanks things of that nature that are a little larger and having that a little more open there is going to be uh, going to be uh, a godsend for putting some of this stuff in there um, and simply for me getting in and out from underneath this stand if I have to do any kind of maintenance or any any repairs and for the simple fact of doing the electrical and plumbing for the setup that I'm currently working on. So here's Bob the Builder. He didn't like the hammer that I used so he's trying to rubber mallet Doesn't seem to be working as good as the hammer I used. 
Oh. Okay, he still got it. Here we are, guys. We're ready for plywood. Um, I just want to point out right now, before somebody points it out or jumps all over me, about no supports across the back. Uh, I deliberately left those out for now. Just for um, running plumbing in that, which I do well before any tank or any water volume goes on top of this stand. I just left it out so ease of access for me to run the plumbing. Once the plumbing goes in, those those braces in the back will be put in and, uh, and then the tank will be installed. All right, guys, we're just gonna finish wrapping up, putting this uh, top down, getting it all screwed into place and nice and solid. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the doors and the painting of the stand because I forgot to hit record like all of us do and um, I didn't get it for you guys so I'm gonna give you guys a quick clip from the next video that'll be coming out you guys will be able to see the stand and how it looks finished and uh, you'll have to watch the next video and see what comes Bring you guys in here and check this out. Make sure that the stand is level. Looks pretty good. That is pretty good. Not bad. And we'll check it the other way. I'm gonna have to take the camera off here to show you guys. Let's have a look across the, across the stand here. All right, and front to back, we are looking spot on there as well. So I'm happy with that, guys. I don't know who wouldn't be. That is, uh, that is pretty good for level in both directions, front to back, end to end. And of course, you know, I didn't just check it in those two spots. I checked it all over the place and it was good. But here's that stand, guys. Here's the shot I promised you. You can kind of see the lighting and the low boy in place. And there is a very functional stand. It's going to serve the purpose for what I want to use it for. And uh, it wasn't overly expensive to do. It just took a little elbow grease and a little bit of time. And here you have it. All right, guys. So we're going to leave it right there for today. We got the stand built. We got the doors on. I just got to do a couple little things to, uh, to finish it up with some hardware, uh, some handles, and some catches for those doors we put on there. I think it's looking pretty good. Again, it's not meant to be, uh, you know, a fantastic cabinetry project, but it is uh, usable, and I think it looks pretty clean. So that's it for today. Make sure you watch for the new series and the new videos coming out because the next one's going to be drilling the low boy frag system and getting the plumbing put together. Until then, guys, make sure you take care and happy reefing. <laughs>